Hey everybody, this is Wendy Ponomarenko. I'm the librarian and art teacher at Temple Emanuel. And uh, as part of the ongoing library project, I've been reading a book a night and posting it um, on the YouTube page and on the Temple Facebook page. And tonight's book is God's Quiet Things, written by Nancy Sweetland and illustrated by Rick Stevens. Hope you enjoy. This is God's Quiet Things, written by Nancy Sweetland and illustrated by Rick Stevens. Shh, listen. Listen for God's quiet things, like butterflies with velvet wings or raindrops making quiet rings in the water. Listen, can you hear a sound from worms that wiggle underground? Or any noise from fish that swim in ponds that lilies blossom in? Up high against the blue, blue sky, a quiet cloud is drifting by. Grasses waving in the breeze or leaves just moving in the trees. Look and listen high and low. God's quiet things are yours to know. Fluffy weeds grow seeds to share and send them sailing through the air. To gardens where the sun shines in, where inchworms inch and spiders spin. Do you hear the darkness fall, the morning dew that comes to call? Night comes, day comes, up so high, the sun and moon cross through the sky. Look and listen everywhere. God's quiet things are always there. Do you hear them? Listen. Uh, God's Quiet Things, this book right here, is a beautifully illustrated book. I absolutely adore the illustrations. And honestly, this is one of my favorite books in the Judaism section of the Juvenile Stacks. It's a very quick read, and you also feel very, very calm and meditative at the end of this. Is This is almost like, like a mantra. And so, um, <laughs> if you ever want to... to kind of remind everybody the beauty of calm, of the calmness of the world. This book pretty much does that. And so that book has this wonderful feeling of inner peace about it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.